Hello everyone, welcome back to Monomosis channel. So quickly today I want to talk about um, a topic that is actually so so delicate but I just feel the need to talk about it and it's the issue of prostitution in Russia. So if you've watched my previous videos you would um, see that I've talked um, some years ago about um, prostitution in Italy and um, the reason I'm talking about this today is because um, I'm really really concerned about um, Nigerian prostitutes in uh, Russia and um, I, 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 don't, I just can't seem to understand why somebody will just embark on a very very long journey and decide that they want to go do prostitution in another country now Russia is no place to mess with like you can I don't support prostitution but you can decide that you want to go do for you to even go do prostitution in in Russia is like going to do prostitution in Afghanistan or something like that country is bad it's bad like there are so many videos of Nigerian girls being wounded Nigerian girls that have been killed Nigerian girls that are even pleading the public to send them money so that they can buy a return ticket to Nigeria because they are dying in Russia and Russia is so bad that they don't even deport you because they will tell you they are not the one that brought you to Russia in the first place. So why should they be the one to take you back to Nigeria? Like Russia is no place to mess with. It's no like I, I mean, okay, some people also say, oh no, we were taken to Russia because people promised me, uh, someone promised me a job. Is it Father Christmas or Santa Claus? Uh, Santa Cla um, or Santa Claus? Like I don't understand. So someone you don't know from nowhere says, oh, you're pretty or whatever, and they want to offer you a job in Russia, and, and they will pay for your everything, and you just jump jump up and say, oh, God has smiled on you. No, that's not God smiling on you. That's your greed taking control. Because if you were not greedy, you would understand that some things are just questionable. Why, why would someone just come to me and just say, oh, um, I've got a job for you is in some unknown country and it will be paid you you will be paid and it's not just Russia there's this woman I think um, that was offered a teaching job or whatever in Liberia and was taken there and and, and, and she, she, she she had to even hide to make a video from an unknown place um, in Yoruba uh, because they, they, are, they were using her as a slave like when we Nigerians learn that except the thing is genuine except you go there like you have a visa you you, you like it's, it's, even even when you know the person is even difficult to trust someone with your life somebody you know is already difficult to trust them with your life not to talk about some some agency or some people you've never seen and they say they have a job to offer you as a teacher as a as a hairdresser or something or as a nail technician do you think they need hairdressers in russia they don't need any hairdressers they don't need any nail technicians they don't need any teachers they don't even they don't need any of those things like what like I, i'm just tired because when I make this video, I know even under this comment, a lot of people are going to attack me. A lot of people are still going to go to Russia. And at the end of the day, the, the, you guys, are, the, the, the ones still going to Russia, will still be the ones to start making videos, pleading Nigerians to, to help the government, to tell the government to help them bring them back to Nigeria. Like, I don't know what's wrong with Nigeria. Like, why won't you listen when they tell you don't go to a place? If you are going to Russia for a genuine job and maybe the company or I, I, I don't know, just, just research. Okay, I have a friend in Nigeria who uh, just uh, wrote me a couple of months ago and he was like, this agent, the so so and so agency that said I should do this, I should do that, that they would uh, give me a visa to the UK and uh, a job in the UK and uh, I know you stay in the UK, can you research it for me? And I was like, okay, send me their details. First, I checked the website, I, I checked the review of the website and it was, it was horrible. People were saying that they're scammers. Secondly, I checked the company number and it, it didn't even exist. The company number didn't even exist. 
third i checked the address of the supposed company and it it, it it was not even relating to what they were calling in fact the address was um the address that was in the email that was in the contract was actually the malaysian embassy in uh in in the uk i was like and which is a totally it, it doesn't even like it, it doesn't even match with the job description that they were telling him to do and again they had, like the job description that um, that we um, that was in the um, contract they said that they are recruiting people for like chef wait, uh, waiters um, uh, cleaners and stuff so do you think that they are recruiting for a cleaner and they will recruit from Nigeria we are not talking about doctors lawyers um, engineers and stuff we are talking about cleaners and stuff like jobs that once they put it online in two in two days the, the position is filled up like it's only high skilled job that they can eat that that they would recruit people from outside if they are asking if they are telling you that they have a cleaning job or they have a hairdressing job or they have a whatever job that is not high skilled trust me that thing is dubious i told him i was like see miss um, see i won't mention his name but this thing is a scam and they were even telling him to pay so, some some sort of amount i told him immediately this thing is a scam because the company number doesn't even exist the like i i just i i even called the phone number and it was it, the, um, the phone number was saying that it doesn't um, there's no um, like um, such number doesn't exist so if if you're having all this offer or something like that even during the um, time of the uh, World Cup in Russia that Nigeria uh, a lot of Nigerian girls went to Russia and up to today they are stopped there that was about that was I think in 2018 if I'm not mistaken they are stopped there because they were promised jobs in Russia and now they are being used as slaves or prostitutes like seriously when you are not uh, when 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 you are not a high skilled uh, professional or something and they are telling you that they, are, they want you to come and do hairdressing or stuff in Russia you think they need hairdress you think they don't have hairdressers in Russia it's not a high skill job they have people like I, I I mean think and again inquire ask for ask 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 questions ask questions like on, on, on social media you can easily find people who live in uh, countries like you can easily find someone who live in Russia oh how is it in Russia can you tell me so so, so can you give me so um, so uh, this this that information they will give you stop packing your load and just going to Russia because yeah they've offered you a job now you are crying for people to buy ticket for you to come back i have sympathy for you but the thing is that even in the middle of doing this video there and even after people watching this video most nigerian girls will still embark on this journey they will not hear they will tell you and one annoying thing that they say oh not be people people wait they they're not uh, they get to head the people wait they they, they get to head really okay go if you die in the process that's your business but don't come and be disturbing nigerians to give you money to send you money on gofundme so that you can buy a return ticket to come back to nigeria because no but like me I used to have sympathy for those type of people but when I understood that they don't care when you're talking to them it looks like you're hating it looks like you don't want the um, best for them so I stopped having sympathy for them so if I saw such video now I wouldn't have sympathy I know a lot of people that I told don't go to Italy because in Italy there is no job especially if, if you didn't school or if you didn't grow up in Italy it's very difficult for you to have like a career or something in Italy I know a lot of people I told and they didn't listen to me they thought I was hating and now they are doing prostitution because of course there is no job in Italy so why should I have sympathy for those type of people why like I, Nigerians just wake up wake up wake up discover your talent and the thing about Nigerian is greed like you 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 have a talent and and instead of you to kind of invest your time and stuff in that talent you, you because maybe the first year or the first six months that that thing that business is not yielding millions oh you just pack up and say no you, you, um, that's not for you do you think that people that are billionaires or millionaires today do you think that they just um they like uh like 
it, it was easy for them the first years. No, it was not. Nothing, no, no talent or whatever that you're going to start with is going to boom immediately. So work on your talent. Do something about yourself and stop searching for a, a, a short way. Stop playing the pity party. Oh, nobody in my family. I'm, uh, I'm the one that is going to take care of my mom, take care of my people. Uh, I, I can't do anything. Some of these people, they don't even know how to read and write. Why can't you? The money you are going to spend in going to Russia or whatever, why can't you invest it in getting a proper education? Why can't you invest it in learning how to read and write? Why? Why? Like, I don't understand. Some of these people, when they write on Facebook, I'm ashamed for them. I'm like, you can't even write. Why, why are you, like, why are you wanting to invest so much money in, in something that at the end of the day, you, 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 you might even cry tears? What's the extent, what's the extent of going to a country when at the end of the day, um, what you, um, at the end of the day, you would regret going to that country or um you might not even come back to your country alive or you might come back to your country with hiv or something what's the essence like please tell me yes i'm done pouring up my emotions this is all i have to say i just said i should give this word of advice today and to encourage someone that's going through one thing or the other trust me short roots are not the answer short roots are not the answers i know it might sound that i'm hating i don't want you to go make um, a name for yourself but trust me you will not make a name for yourself all you will do is bring more suffering and misery to yourself and your family thank you for joining me on this channel today and uh, please if you like this video sh uh, please comment like share and subscribe and um i'll see you next time Thank you and God bless you.